Chickens and gardens are a match made in heaven. As well as producing fresh eggs and fertiliser, they're loads of fun to have around. Jessamy Miller describes herself as the chicken lady. She grew up on a rare breeds chicken farm and following in her mum's footsteps, now writes for a range of publications about the joys of keeping chooks. Don't you eat my toast, darling? Mm -hmm. So, Jessamy, why should people have chickens? I just love chickens and I would love everyone to have the fun that I have with my chickens. What makes them such great pets? They are fantastic for your mental health. So after a busy day, go out with a cup of tea and spend some time with the chickens and it's great for your well-being. They are such funny characters. They keep me entertained all the time and they're great company when I'm out in the garden. They are really good fun in the garden. Yeah. They'll, they'll do things with you, won't they? They're into everything. So they'll come and see what I'm doing and they've got a bit of chat. They'll give me a bit of comment. They'll let me know what they think. <laughs> they've got opinions. And look, who couldn't love a pet that it makes your breakfast. That is um, such a bonus. I love having fresh eggs on hand. Oh, look, you've laid a beautiful egg. Well done. And they're scratching machines, which if you can get them to work for good and not evil, then um, they can turn over the garden bed and save your back. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> Jessamy's place is typical of Northcote, in Melbourne's north. She's got a small yard, packed with fruit trees, a lawn and some veggies. It's the perfect place for a few girls. So how much space do you really need to keep chickens? Well, chickens actually don't take up too much space. So the technical size for a hen house is 0.37 of a metre per chook. <laughs> um, but I would say half a metre per chook in your hen house would be fantastic. And then in your run, you might leave a square metre per chook and that would be generous and spacious. Oh, this is a great little space. Thank you. I absolutely love it. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, and a new hen house. Yes, so this was my birthday present. What more would you want for your birthday than a hen house? What do people need to know when they're building a hen house? Well, the number one thing is to make it fox proof and predator proof because foxes are in the city as well as in the country and if they're hungry, they'll try and get in. So we have galvanised mesh and of course there's a roof and a floor We've used recycled bricks set flush on the floor so that no fox can dig under. So like a solid floor in the a house? A solid floor with a lip out from underneath and that's really easy to clean as well. It gets mm. really hot here in summer and so we need cross ventilation to move that hot air out the back. So I love a full size hen house that you can walk into. Yes. Um, it's so much easier to perform routine maintenance tasks when you can stand up and it's well lit so I can see everything that's yep. going on. I can clean the floor, I can give it a dust and I can also check the chooks on the perch at night. And if there was a wet week here in Melbourne, mm. it means that the chooks could be here undercover scratching around and still have plenty to do even though it's no good to go outside. Mm. And of course, you've got this fantastic nesting box with some eggs in it, I see. Yes, the, the girls have been busy. We like that. Um, the nest box is great because it's down low and it's quite dark and that's exactly um, what a chook is looking for. She wants to lay down under a bush, not up in a tree. You've got a whole lot of little quirky things in there to keep the girls entertained. Some great ideas. I do. I love environmental enrichment. It really keeps the girls happy. So to keep them busy, I've got a mirror, which they love to preen in front of. And this is a great solution if you're left with a single chook. When they get lonely, so they can That's see right. themselves in the... Yeah, Aww. yeah, so good fun. I've made a hanging feeder bottle and that um, encourages them to peck and it releases a little grain of wheat and that keeps them busy. And pecking is a natural instinct. So it's good to have enrichment that allows them to peck. We've also got hanging greens because they like to eat their greens attached to something and it encourages them to jump up. And also your xylophone. This is just great fun. They like to peck along the xylophone when I put yogurt on there, but they're not um, quite a heavy metal band yet. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah. Then but, you can tour. Yeah. 
as well as eating the garden, what do you feed the girls? Well, I believe in a really nutritious diet for chooks. They're a food producing animal, so they need balanced nutrition so that you get those nutritious eggs. So I feed my chooks micro pallets um, for layers and they're completely balanced. It's got all the fats, carbohydrates and protein, vitamins and minerals that they need to make their eggs. And they're, when they're healthy, they don't get sick, they don't have bad behaviour, but they also like to have a treat. So they get a handful of scratch grain um, which encourages them to scratch around and that's just a nice mixed grain in the afternoons and they also get their greens and I throw in all my veggie clippings, um, my leaves from the garden, kitchen scraps, um, but it's selected scraps because scraps are a treat, um, they're not nutritious enough as a full diet yeah. um, and I have a rule with scraps, if they haven't eaten them within a day I move them straight into the compost because that's hygienic, it doesn't attract flies or rodents or wild birds mm -hmm. and it's much nicer for my neighbours. Um, so that's a good hygiene tip. I can see you've used pea straw in the run. It's great for the garden as a mulch, but good for the run bedding as well? It's fantastic, Millie. So I put a bale in as entertainment for the chooks. They scratch through it and turn it over over about three months and they really break it down. They incorporate a very small amount of chook manure and lots of dirt. And so then it's ready to go on the garden as an enriched, broken down mulch um, and no pea seeds left in to sprout. So it's perfect. Well, you're definitely a chicken lover, but you're a gardener too, aren't you? Well, I love to garden, but so do the chooks. So <laughs> it's a bit of a battle between us about who gets which plant. So I do need a range of strategies to keep them out of the garden. And that's enough to deter a little chook? Yes, that stops them from jumping over, but they can actually peck between um, the holes there if they like the plants. So I need some extra strategies sometimes. So that's where oh. something as simple as this comes in. That's just a bin. Yeah, but I put it over my seedlings to protect them until they get established. Um, so once that's there, the chook cannot get in. <laughs> I'm sorted and I'm very happy. Looks like you've got a pretty good hold of her. Is that the way you should hold a chicken? Yeah, yeah, you really want to hold a chicken so that you've got control of her wing and her feet. So what I do is thread my fingers through her feet here so they're completely held. Her far wing is held against my body yep. and I've got my thumb over her wing here. And this actually works for much bigger chooks too. So that's um, a good way if you need to check her, at, you know, to yeah, check her for I've any pests. I've got my hand free um, to do anything I need to do. I can um, check her tail. I can look at her feet and look for scaly leg and maybe I need to um, give her a little manicure and cut her toe. oil bar. That's <laughs> right. And of course we can look at the wings and look under the wings, check for mites and lice and do everything we need to with this free hand. And look, she's very happy. They love being held like this. They don't um, struggle. She's very relaxed. And look, I actually pick these girls up and put them up and down off the perch at night and I even give them a little cuddle and say goodnight because I love them so much and uh, I feel sure they love me too. <laughs> or the food. 